Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm still with joined by Maria. How are you doing, Maria? Still That's very good. That's a beer sommelier <laughs> here in Leuven in Belgium. And we've got a Russian beer that is very, very difficult to pronounce. But we have a book. We have a book that says how we have to pronounce it. And it says Lobotomy Sinistral Babrendi. There we go. You can try as well. Maybe English speaking people will. Uh, Lobotomy Dextral Babrandi. Maybe, maybe that. That's we try our, we do our best, you know. We do our best. <laughs> and it's, we, it's 12. It be a, a barrel aged beer. Brandy barrel aged, 12.8% ABV. Which is usual for a bread barrel aged beer, of course. Okay, let's get the beer out uh, into a glass and see what we oh, get. Maybe, maybe, maybe you, let's you see. Just open. Let's see if I can. After the disaster from the last film. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you can already smell the, the, the brandy. Yes, you can. Here's yeah. your glass. Mm. And let's have a look. Maybe pour me a little less so I can waltz. There you go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful foam for a barrel aged beer. So, this is my first try at a Russian stout, and it's an American styled Imperial stout brewed by Russians. So, very interesting, <laughs> very interesting. Cheers. Jet black beer in the glass. It looks lovely and thick. As you rock that beer back and forth, you can very see. Very dark. The, it's like. Yeah. You can't look through it at all. No, and you, you can see the slow moving carbonation aroma. Oh, the brandy, wow. the barrels, the brandy, the barrels, but also the dark malts, the burnt malts. Yeah. A little bit also Toasty. the licorice. Yes, and and well, actually some not vanilla. licorice, but sweet woods. Some vanilla. Let me try again. I need an, an empty nose again. <laughs> it's so full. The flavor, the, yeah. the smell is so strong. Cherry, maybe some cherry. Yes, or cherry definitely. Yeah. A little cherry, but not. It's not going to. I don't. You've got like a little aroma of the like the the, the candy cherry. Yeah. But it's not going to give flavor. I think it's a type of of smell that that you don't taste in the beer. It smells lovely. And I'm going to be honest. There's a kick of alcohol. You do get it. Yes, a it's kick. twelve point twelve points. Twelve point eight. So you're going to get it. But it's all. normal because yeah. it's a barrel aged beer. Otherwise, it goes sour in the in the barrel. So okay. That's okay. why. Let's try. Let's try. Cheers, everybody. Ah, oh, lovely, creamy. You feel like the brandy on your tongue. Yeah, yeah. It, it like, yeah. It's very creamy in the mouth, mm. like candy. The licorice is there, but it's also coffee especially in the after flavors like afterwards in yeah. your mouth you have like a mocha coffee and some vanilla yeah. i'm getting vanilla and cherry yes. and vanilla definitely in the aftertaste mm. yeah not in i don't have it in the nose though but now that i've drank it i smell the mocha also in the in the nose yeah some mocha mocha coffee yeah the, a latte. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it smells and tastes wonderful. It, it's a like wonderful like a latte in which they added brandy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it, it's very good quality. Um, I'm very, very impressed cool, by very this brewery. Yes, brewery, I am. I've I'm too. Very impressed by the beers. We've we got one more to go. And um, it's got great mouthfeel, great flavour, great aroma. And I'm ready to rate very, it. Very soft. It's not soft in flavour, but it has this creamy, soft mount filling feeling yeah. it gives you <laughs> and it's In, warming all yeah. the way down yeah you feel it like, it's like you're drinking brandy yes yes, yes absolutely yeah. so and you, and you get a little bit of that woodiness as well coming through it's sweet mm. it's a sweet beer but it's not too sweet no it would be a perfect dessert a perfect dessert beer yeah. i'm gonna ask you to rate it out of 10 what do you think In the in the category of the dark barrel aged beers, well, I think it's actually a very well. The quality is very high because it doesn't have any sourness in it at all. Yeah, yeah. Which is hard barrel aged beers. So I would give it again an eight. 
Yes. Eight out of ten. Eight out of, what do you? What would you say? I'm gonna say a little bit more. I'm gonna say nine on this. Nine. I like it. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah, actually, maybe uh, maybe nine is not a bad thing. Yeah. Because brandy, I don't think it's an easy barrel either to yeah, make this type it's of very beer. Yeah. Very difficult. Because the the next one we're going to taste is the the same hard name, but with bourbon barrels. Bourbon is a lot more common. Brandy, you don't yeah. see that often. Brandy is a difficult thing to do. Yeah. Let's look at the beer. Eight and nine, or no, nine well, and eight. No, you couldn't see it very well on the film, you know. You have to make go. people look better. I'm look sorry. That. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's, it, we're in the window and it's getting dark, so you might see us a little blue in the video. But we are at the De Horn, the original De Horn Brewery, Stella Artois Brewery. Uh, fantastic location. Thank you very much for the invite, by the way, to, to come in and, and record well, this Well, you're very festival. welcome. You have to thank the Hoft yeah. and Dogmail family. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you very much. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, and cheers. Cheers.